if I told you that positive thinking might be part of the solution to dealing with the many stresses and challenges inherent in a new semester? I would like to offer two suggestions for harnessing the power of positivity, seeking for the good in our lives and turning our hearts to God. As we begin this new semester, I boldly echo that invitation, the invitation to become. As the flagship university of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, this university invites all who enter BYU to become what God wants you to become. One, a vision for what we want to become. Two, persistent and consistent effort. And three, making and honoring covenants with God. We won't know how to become if we don't first know what we want to become. Or perhaps more importantly, who we may become. All of us sometimes need someone with a bolder vision for our future than we have for ourselves. And we also all need to reciprocate that blessing. It is easy to envision the harvest, to dream of our figurative orchards and fields teeming with bounteous fruits and vegetables. Today, I invite you to embrace the hard work, the labor, incessant, and constant that must proceed and produce that harvest. Making and keeping covenants with God accelerates the process of becoming, thanks to that special gift of love and mercy afforded to children of the covenant. It is no coincidence that each member of the First Presidency emphasized the power of covenants in this past April's General Conference. Jesus Christ is our ultimate example of becoming. He had a vision of his divine role as the savior of the world. His vision for those who meant to whom he ministered was majestic and inspiring. He built others. He aligned his will with the Father's will exactly. He loved perfectly. He kept his covenants with the Father. As with all things, Jesus is the answer. His life was perfect. And it was and is the divine model for each of us.